Developing now a revealing day in court for those accused in the deadly shooting outside of Roxborough High School. You'll remember 14-year-old Nicholas Elizalde was killed in the ambush. And tonight we're getting new details on the four suspects. These are pictures of three of them. A fifth suspect after all of these months still has not been captured. I'm Sheba Russell. I'm Jason Martinez and our Kelly Rule has the latest from court. This case will now move towards the trial process, but I can tell you it was an emotional and at times tense day in court. The mother of 14 year old Nicholas Alazade visibly upset at times and actually chose to leave the courtroom when they played the video of the Roxborough shooting. And some of the family of 19 year old Tamir Jones murdered the day before got into a verbal argument with some of the defendant's family members. They had to be separated by deputies outside of the courtroom and some chose to leave for the day. Three Philadelphia police homicide detectives called to the stand by prosecutors outlined extensive evidence that led to the arrests of 15 year old Troy Fletcher, 21 year old Yasin Bivens, 17 year old Zaheed Jones, and 16 year old Salim Miller for the deadly shooting outside Roxborough High School. 14 year old Nicholas Elizalde was killed and four others wounded as they were walking out of a football scrimmage September 27th. The detective's testimony went into detail about the Ford Explorer used used in the deadly shooting and the infotainment system inside. Detectives say that system linked 16-year-old Dayron Bernie Thorne's cell phone, who investigators still have not located and arrested. Detectives testified a search warrant of Bernie Thorne's phone led them to the numbers of the four other defendants, and evidence recovered from all four phone numbers placed them at the scene at Roxborough High School. Detectives also testified about the use of DNA, saying DNA found on a bag of marijuana left at the Roxborough scene matched with Zaheed Jones and a latex glove in the Ford matched to Salim Miller. Additional DNA and fingerprint evidence is still pending. Detectives also testified ballistic evidence recovered at the scene showed two of the five guns used in the Roxborough shooting matched the ballistics in the deadly shooting of 19-year-old Tamir Jones the day before. And that investigators were able to link Zaheed Jones and Troy Fletcher to Tamir Jones' murder through evidence including cell phone records and video surveillance that showed the pair wearing similar clothing items in the Roxborough shooting. Defense attorneys tried to poke holes in the cell phone records and recover DNA, but a judge ultimately decided to uphold all charges. The big question not answered in court, what was the motivation behind both of the deadly shootings? Again, 16-year-old Dayron Bernie Thorne still wanted tonight on murder and related charges for the Roxborough shooting and the murder of Jones the day before. New today, prosecutors also confirmed they are looking for a sixth individual in that Roxborough shooting, the alleged driver of the Ford Explorer. That person has not been identified. Reporting outside the Criminal Justice Center, I'm Kelly Rule, Fox 29 News.